Oh, I bet that's near zero. How could there be, with the numbers out there, how could there not be lots of them out there? But what, what is the possibility that there are so few that the distances involved make it so not even SETI couldn't find anybody else? I mean, SETI, we already know from the SETI work to date that there's nobody near us that's, that's blasting out the sort of messages that the movie Contact is suggesting. I mean, that's not happening. And SETI itself agrees that, gee, if we don't find anybody in the next 30, 40 years, um, there's going to be a pretty good chance there's nobody close enough to us that we would ever be able to either talk to them, let alone get out there and see them. I suspect the chances are that we will not, at least in the next few centuries. Perhaps our technology will get to the point that we can pinpoint not just the immediate area, which is really all that we're good for now, and spotlight the entire galaxy. Or perhaps we get good enough that we can really start looking at other galaxies. I think then we'll start picking up evidence that there's other life out there. But if you're talking about places hundreds of thousands of light years away, there's no conversation you ever want to have waiting 100,000 years to get your response. And then it comes back to you and says, message garbled, please repeat. Well, it could be a an aspect of communication, but it also could be just another indication that Medea is correct. The life gets going on a planet and then kills itself off through colossal blunders. A friend of mine said, well, I shouldn't call it the Medea hypothesis, but evolution is more like Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean blundering into one situation after another, you know, let's, hey, let's make oxygen, that'll be cool. And then poisoning almost every bit of life around it, or hey, let's make photosynthesis and then reducing carbon dioxide so much that we go into a snowball earth. Or hey, let's make forests, and then reducing CO2 even further and producing a gigantic, almost global ice age in the Carboniferous. So yeah, let's, let's do this, says Mr. Bean.